Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone, we have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about methods of heat transfer or convection. This will be the third quarter topic in learning competency number 9. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to. First is to define how convection occurs. The second one is to explain the process of heat transfer by convection. And the third one is to apply their understanding of convection to the real-world examples. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the teacher will ask the following questions. Convection is one of the three fundamental modes of heat transfer, along with the conduction and radiation. It describes the transfer of heat through the movement of a fluid, such as air or water. The following are the definition of convection. So for the first one, when it comes to fluid movement, so convection involves the transfer of the heat by the movement of the fluid such as air or water. The second one is when it comes to temperature differences. So convection occurs due to the temperature differences which causes the fluid to move and carry heat with it. And for the third one is when it comes to the thermal energy energy transfer. So the movement of the fluid allows for the transfer of thermal energy from one location to another. How heat travels via convection? So for the first one is heating. So heat is applied to a fluid causing it to become less dense and rise. The second one is the movement. So the rising half fluid carries the heat with it, transferring the thermal energy to the other areas. And the third one is the cooling. So as the hot fluid cools, it becomes denser and sinks, creating a continuous convection cycle. The following are the mechanisms of convection heat transfer. So the first one is the natural convection. So it occurs due to the differences in fluid density caused by temperature gradients resulting in the fluid moving on on its own. And the second one is the force convection. So it involves the use of an external force such as fan or pump to move the fluid and enhance the heat transfer process. And for the third one is the mixed convection. So it is a combination of a natural and force convection where both density differences and external forces drive the fluid motion. The following are the sample illustration of convection. So for the first picture, 
it's talk about the boiling water. So the heated water near the bottom of the pot becomes less dense, causing it to rise and creating a circular convection pattern. For the second picture, it talks about the room heating. So convection plays a key role in the distribution of heat within a room. So as warm air rises and cool air sinks. The following are the examples of convection in everyday life. So the first one is the fireplaces. So the hot air and smoke from the fire rise up the chimney, creating a convection current that draws in more air and fuels the fire. The second one is ocean breezes. So differences in temperature between the land and the ocean cause the air to move creating convection driven ocean breezes the third one is cooking so convection plays a role in even heating of food in ovens and on stove tops as the hot air of the liquid circulates around the food and the fourth one is the heating and cooling system so HVAC system use force convection to distribute the heated or cold air throughout the building improving the comfort and efficiency the following are the factors affecting the convection heat transfer so the first one is the temperature differences so the greater the temperature differences between the hot and the cold regions the stronger the convection currents and the higher the heat transfer rate the second one is the fluid properties so factors like viscosity density and thermal conductivity of the fluid can affect the efficiency of convection heat transfer for the third one is the surface area so increasing the surface area between the fluid and heated or cold surface can enhance the convection heat transfer and for the fourth one is the fluid flow so the speed and direction of the fluid flow can significantly impact the convection heat transfer rate the following are the importance and application of convection heat. So the first one is the HVAC systems. So convection is very crucial for the efficient distribution of heated or cold air in heating, ventilation, and in air conditioning systems. The second one is for cooking and baking. So convection ovens use force air circulation to provide more even and efficient heating, resulting in better cooking and baking outcomes. The third one is industrial processes. So convection is utilized in various industrial applications such as drying, cooling, and heat treatment to optimize energy efficiency and product quality. And for the fourth one is meteorology. So convection plays a crucial role in various atmospheric phenomena such as the formation of clouds, thunderstorm, and